Hey guys, what's up? It's AP Eric. Before today's video, quick reminder, I am doing a game giveaway for New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch. I'm giving away a digital version of the game to enter. Click the link down below. The giveaway is until January 11th at midnight central time. I will be picking one random winner to win a copy of this game. If you click down below, you'll have a chance to enter multiple different times. So yeah, if you want a free game, or a chance to win a free game, click down below, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's today's video. Hey guys, what's up? It's 8 Eric. Today I'm going to talk about Solar Flux on the Nintendo Switch. This is a puzzle type of game where you control a little ship who has to obtain like little solar balls on every level within a specified amount of time. If you take too long, you run out of energy and you lose the stage. The idea is to use these balls to kind of throw them back at the sun to re-energize them. The suns are running out and yes, yeah, but one major problem right off the bat that I really did not like about this game is the fact that it is touchscreen only. So when you're looking at the footage for this game, you're literally looking at me recording my Nintendo Switch tablet with my camera. So there was no way to capture the footage at all for this game other than playing it. Now, it looks great. It's a fun looking game. The concept, a little interesting. You have to use your finger kind of like behind the ship in order for it to go the opposite direction. It takes a little bit of time to get used to. I would get confused and kind of just like crash and everywhere. So there's a little bit of getting used to the controls. You drag or tap your finger behind the ship and it goes that way. You only have a limited amount of gas or fuel in order to use your thrusters. And also the more you use your thrusters, the less stars you're gonna get at the end of your level. So the idea is to get three stars for every level. You progress and you unlock new stages. The stages offer everything from different planets and stuff that have actually have a little orbit that go around them and things like that. Asteroids, you know, standard space stuff. And some of these stages do get pretty tricky and that's to be expected with a game like this. And it's, it's a very solid puzzle title. Now the main thing that knocks this game down from having a higher score than what I think it should have is the fact that controller play is not even an option. It's touchscreen only, and for me, I don't like that. Sure, if you if you like to take your Switch on the go, if you like to have it portable, if you like to play it on the go and take it everywhere with you, okay, that's understandable, that's cool, makes unique use of the touchscreen features. However, come on. I'm a guy that likes to play my Switch on his TV. I don't see any reason why this game is not available to use for your controller at all. And I think that is something that knocks the game down immensely. Is this game worth getting? If you're into this type of stuff and you don't mind that it's touchscreen only, you might be interested in this. I had a lot of fun, spent a lot of time, countless hours unlocking the levels, completing the puzzles, things like that. So there is a good amount of content here. It's just that no controller aspect is what knocks the game's enjoyment down for me personally, guys. And yeah, this is a pretty uh, standard puzzle game, space game. Not much else to it. You know, it's, I can't really go on much longer on today's video. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.